Welcome back to One on One at the Castle. I'm Cassie Calvert, and today I am joined by Jesse Matavike, who's going to be taking your questions, so make sure you comment them below. It's your birthday week. Yesterday was your birthday. Yeah. What did you do to celebrate? Uh, had a good practice. After practice, had a little Ruth Chris with my teammates, and uh, my dad got in town the other day. Had some cake after. So, yeah. Well, that, I mean, what could be better? Yeah, it was great. So you great go out to teammates, dinner with your teammates on your birthday. Are they picking up the tab on that one? My boys did pick up the tab on nice, that. Nice. Like like Calais, shout out to Calais. <laughs> shout out to Calais. That is so a true bet right yeah, there. Yeah, exactly. So speaking of Calais, you, it's, prob it's so cool to me that you have two of the coolest vets in the NFL at, like to learn from with Calais and Justin Houston being yeah. in your group. What is it like to get to practice with those guys every day and just learn from people who have done it at a high level for so long? Um, it's great. It's um, something that definitely helps me develop. I just watch like things that they do, things that they say, notes that they take, ask them questions. They're always like giving me information, no ego, just straight mm -hmm. love. So it's great. I can't even ask for nothing but it, honestly. And they're just two like really good people at yeah. the core, which like people don't always know. I feel like that kind of shines through with the two of them, but that just makes it even more special to me. Another great person that we just added to this defense, we were talking about this a little bit before, is Roquan Smith, first yeah. game last week in New Orleans. What have you seen from him so far? That man can tackle. That man's fast. Great guy, too. <laughs> SEC brother. Yeah? Yeah, great guy. I'm glad he's on our squad, for sure. Seriously, we yeah. love that. So, speaking of the New Orleans game, you were mic'd up. We were yeah. talking about this a little bit before, too. <laughs> he's got some bars. Who knew? You could yeah. sing. Yeah, I didn't I didn't know I could sing until I saw the, the mic <laughs> tell later. I was like, okay, I kind of got some, you know what I'm saying? But... <laughs> Yeah, it was, it was fun. Great game, great win. We were saying it was actually like a pretty little catchy song. Like, I love this team. Like, the rest <laughs> of the day, I was like in my head. <laughs> uh, I started messing up, and I was like, oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Hidden yeah. talent there, for yeah. sure. Yeah. All right, we've got some fan questions coming in for you. This one is from Mike Kelly on Facebook. He wants to know, what is it like to come out of the tunnel on game day? Oh, man. Energy is rocking, electric. M&T Bank, I mean... It's crazy. It's a. Uh, it's great. It's great. I don't even know. How, I don't, words can't even describe it. I'm saying all types of stuff. Words can't even describe it. You get just kind of like goosebumps. Just yeah, about it. goosebumps and just like I get, it gets me amped up, ready to just mm -hmm. beat somebody up and get a win. And you kind of have like your thing that you do coming out of the tunnel now, yeah, right? Like yeah. chest. Is that you? Like chest bump, head yeah. slaps, screaming. Okay. Running. Fired up. Fired up, ready to go. Ready to go. Is it different for like a 1 p.m. p.m. game versus like a night game? Uh, I think the night games would be more like, no, nah, they all the same. Honestly, they're all loud. M and T bang be loud both ways, but at night it's it, it, when it's dark and it's mm -hmm. just like more like a movie scene. Yeah. It's like action packed. <laughs> I'm like, this is like what I grew up like dreaming about. Yeah, so, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah. All right, we've got a Thanksgiving themed question for you. This one is from John Welker on Facebook: Turkey, ham, or chicken for Thanksgiving? <sighs> Turkey, ham, or chicken? I mean. I'll say turkey. Really? Yeah. Turkey, yeah. Or chicken. I think ham's last. I'm not really a ham guy. Really? Yeah, ham's me. first for me. I think turkey's a little overrated. Oh, really? It's always like dry. And yeah. The way my mama make it, she be making it all juicy and stuff. All right. Well, seasoning. You know, you know, you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. That maybe I'm just eating turkey all wrong then. <laughs> <laughs> this one is from Cody on YouTube. Who did you admire growing up? Damn, like football player, anybody? 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 Uh, what am I growing up? You know, I'm gonna just say I'm gonna stick with football. I like I I like Michael Strahan growing up mm. and, and Justin Tuck. Um, like I'm not gonna lie, I was like, I I, don't, I didn't say I was a Giants fan, but I liked the Giants because mm -hmm. of those two guys, just like defensive ends, like had a personality, could ball. So I'll say those guys looking up. And my personal, I would say my dad for sure. He's worked hard. Taught me good principles as a man and stuff like that. And, um, and yeah, I think those are the two ones that stuck up for me. For Pretty sure. good. Yeah. Do you have any interest? In, like, Michael Strahan has obviously made quite the career for himself, like, post-football. Is that something you, like, aspire to? Like, be media-wise, that kind of stuff? I think I have – a lot of people tell me I have the personality to do that. You do? Yeah, so I think that's something that I'll be willing to do. I have to be on my P's and Q's on, like, stats and stuff like that because yeah. I, I can't remember, like, street signs and stuff like that. So <laughs> I, I need to work on that. But I think I have the personality to do it. I don't see why not. I think it'll be fun. I think if you can grasp an NFL playbook, you could probably remember enough stats. I think they got you in your ear, too, you know, if you ever need someone to tell you. Yeah, I think yeah, you yeah. can handle that. Right, right, that's right. really cool. Yeah. 
This question is from Felton on YouTube. What pushed you to become a Raven and to follow your dreams? That's a good one. What pushed me to be a Raven and follow my dreams? I just say the love for the game, just love for football. Uh, I love football. I love the team camaraderie. I love the coaches. I love the working out. I love I love everything about it, especially now when you you get to play in the NFL, get paid, have fun. <laughs> you know, it's, it's great. Um, uh, it's just the love for the game and just being able to do something that like I want like passion for. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like some people don't do things like they have straight, straight passion for. I feel like you're, not, you're wasting your time if you're not doing right. something, being passionate about it, so. It's like the expression like, if you love what you do, you never work a day in your life. Yeah. So that's 100% that. Absolutely. This one is from Jamila on YouTube. Kind of a good follow-up question here. What do you like to do when you're not working, when you're not playing football? Uh, Call of Duty. <laughs> Trying to go shopping if they have my size, uh, eating good restaurants. I actually try to find like top four star, five star restaurants around my area. I just try to find di different foodie spots to, you know, ch chime in and see like what they got going on. And then if it's good, I'll put a favorite on it and make sure I go to their overtime okay. after practice and stuff like that. But I'm laid back, chill, movie guy. I'm trying to. I'm hitting up Clay's, Chuck Clark. But like, man, what are some movies that are like fire? Like you guys are the OGs, <laughs> old heads. Like don't put me on no BS movies. Like come on. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I just keep chilling. See, so like older school movies then. Yeah, I feel like they don't make the movies the same as they used to. Yeah, but that's, that's me personally. But. So to go back to your foodie picks, do you have a favorite restaurant in this area? It's or by couple? downtown, by the stadium, Papa Cuisine. Okay. So good, like uh, Caribbean food. Nice. Like seafood platter, lobster, crab egg rolls. Lamb chops. Oh god. All right. All that's right. So three. he's putting you on. Yeah, yeah. I'm putting you on. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Yeah. All right, this one is from Mr. Joker on YouTube. He wants to know what your favorite off-the-field memory is with another player. Favorite off-the-field memory with another player. Oh, man, I don't know. I can't think of that. With another player, like, player on my team right now, the Ravens, or just yeah, anybody? Yeah, I think so. Uh, you guys do a lot as a group. Yeah, we do. I'd say we went to my rookie year, we went to Miami as our uh, D-line trip because we all take like a trip after the season's over and that mm -hmm. was super fun we had so much time, uh, fun we on the boat <laughs> we were eating good food it was my first time in Miami and it won't be my last after that so <laughs> yeah that was fun do you guys do that every year yeah we usually do that every year I think last year some people did it was like last minute and some people couldn't go but we usually do it every year that's awesome yeah. that's really cool oh yeah this one is from Garrett on Facebook what do you do to prepare for game day well, I gotta find, I gotta get a nice fit in the closet. I gotta get a solid fit, you know what I mean? Just being me, nothing too crazy. Trying not not trying to be nobody else, be you. <laughs> get you a nice playlist, a good like 12, 15 songs on there that you can, you know what I'm saying? Oop. That you that you can, um, you know what I'm saying? Jam to, and then just getting your mind right, getting ready, getting feeling the energy of the room, and just playing with your head on fire, honestly. Who do you think has the best fits pregame on the team? Ooh, best fits. On our team, hmm. my my boy Dafe be dripping. I'm not gonna lie, Dafe be dripping. Dafe be dripping for sure. Bateman be dripping. Um, and they have very different styles too, because like mm -hmm. you said, it's each person kind of doing their own thing. Like right. Dafe usually has like a nice suit. Yeah. Bateman's a little more casual. Uh -huh. Like you kind of go the casual, yeah, quasi I'm more, route. Yeah, I need to step but my like, swag up. I ain't gonna lie, but but nah. like nice. Like elevated. Yeah, yeah. exactly, exactly. Uh, Morgan Moses be dripping too. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so those are the top guys I can remember right now. Yeah, that's the, a good list. The receivers usually be drip, be dripping stuff. Cause <laughs> everything can fit them. They're all skinny and stuff. Like I'm a big guy. I'm like, I got big quads and stuff. I'm like man, I can't fit these skinny jeans. But <laughs> nah, uh, that's a good point. Yeah. 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 <laughs> all right. Besides winning the Super Bowl, this one is also from Garrett. What is on your bucket list? Besides winning the Super Bowl. What's on my bucket list? Um, man. So that's my Super Bowl. What's on my bucket list? I, I, I want to play for a minute. I think I want to play like 10, 15. Almost like Clay is like, I really love football like, like that. So that's definitely on my bucket list to just keep playing this game as long as I keep working hard and loving it. Um, but no, nah, Super Bowl is like the top thing in my mind. Mm -hmm. And that's what, that's uh, not only me. Right. So. Everybody's uh, mind. Everybody's mind, exactly. But no, nah, just playing a long time, playing with love, passion for the game. That's my bucket
Nicholas too. So. That's awesome. We'll take a few more fan questions here for you. This one is also from Jamila. What are you most grateful for? Uh, I'd say my family. I'd say my family for sure. Like my, my dad's in town for my birthday. Um, and just them keeping me grounded, keeping me staying who I am, uh, not uh, getting outside of myself and stuff like that, and just being humble. And, you know, they're just my rock. And uh, they keep me humble. They keep me within me. So, so yeah. he'll be at the game Sunday then? Yeah, he will. What's it yeah. like for you getting to, like, because you are so close with your family, like, be, them being able to come to a game in the NFL and watch you, like, do what your dream is? Yeah, they're just proud. They're, it's, 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 it's exciting for them, uh, maybe hooping and hollering, all that stuff. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's, it's just great. It's, he, he says he's proud of me, all that stuff. I'm like, Dad, when you got in the Super Bowl, yeah, I don't want you to hear him saying, like, you're proud of me. Like, it, may, it makes me feel like I'm going to be complacent and, like, not do it. No, nah, I just want to keep working hard and just making them proud. So. Well, that's what being a parent is, being proud of you no yeah. matter what. And I think you've accomplished quite a few things already, yeah, so there's plenty you. to be proud of. Absolutely. We'll take one more here, and I love this one. In the locker room, this is from Felton. Which players push you to never give up and keep going? Uh, Justin Houston. Justin Houston's a dog for real. He, uh, he has a great mentality when it comes to football. He's been doing it for 12, 13 years. Like, when he talks, we listen. And um, he's somebody that I, de I deeply like respect, and uh, somebody that can get me going for sure. I think there, there was a clip that y'all got of him like firing me up during the mm -hmm. the Bucks game on the sideline. And then after that, I got a sack. I was like, oh man, like maybe his inspiration like helped me like move. So Justin Houston for sure, for sure. He's somebody that I definitely look up to. Yeah, that clip you're talking about. He's telling you like, do you realize like who you are? You're and right. that's so cool. Like someone that's accomplished so much, over 100 sacks in the NFL, yeah. is saying like you're it, like you're him. Yeah. What does it mean like from a guy like that? It just like uh, anytime I don't do good on a play or like I beat myself up too hard, I'm like, you know what? Don't beat yourself too hard because guys who are like great at this game see something. They mm -hmm. see a light in you. Mm -hmm. So make them proud because they believe in you. And that's a great guy to believe in you. So it makes me just like push myself even when I don't want to. I'm like, nah, man, I, I'm, I'm him. I, like I can really do this because he's him and he's telling me I can do this. Mm -hmm. I'm, I definitely can do this. So it just takes hard work, asking questions when you have some and just being patient and just being faithful and just. Keep on working. Mm. So, I love yeah. that. That yeah. is very well said. Absolutely. Any message you want to share with the Ravens fans here before we sign off? Ravens flock! <laughs> love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Got to get a win. Keep it going. Got one goal in mind. Y'all know what it is, so I'm out. Sunday at the bank. We'll see you there. Thanks for watching.